Morning, Julesy here from Julesy Designs and JT Creations. Um, welcome to part two of making a travel journal. Now on the last one, um, I'd left you with, I was going to Mod Podge um, this card. So you can see it gives it more of a leathery look. Now while I was off camera, I did put some material now the material I've used is just an old pillar case and I stitched it and as you can see I'm not the perfect seamstress because there's wiggly lines and the tension's not great but I used an orange thread because I thought it went nice with the, the journal I've also burnt some of the edges um, and I will reinforce them with glue or something I'm not quite sure yet but normally what I do is I put a pocket in here and a pocket in here now because I've lined it with material I can't really um, do that with card um, so I thought what I would do is I would do it with some of the the material that I use to line it so I have prepared it off um camera as you can see it is a piece of pillowcase so this one is going here and i'm going to restitch it on and i will do that off camera and come back to you and this one's a double pocket so this one will go here so that i'll have a pocket there and a pocket there and you can see i've not done any measurements um it's a bit skew whiffy but hey ho it's a travel journal it's going to get put in and out of my bag um <clears throat> as long as it holds my bits and pieces and keeps all my my journal in nice and neat um and secure and all together i'm quite happy about that i might even get i think i've got some elastic i might even put a thick elastic loop there to to put a pen in because obviously i'm going to have the two elastics going down here one with my journal and one with another pocket for putting ephemera um, so I will sew this off camera and I'll come back to you in a minute so just give me a couple of seconds hi that's me back okay so not the greatest look but I'll cover that up and it doesn't really matter I mean I'm gonna ink it anyway um, the tension on it's not that great but it has reinforced it um, the stitching that I've already done so I'm quite happy with with this and I have poked holes where the no let me get rid of those threads so I've got a pocket here and a pocket here which I'm quite pleased with and a folder pocket here for putting tickets and things like that in um, I do want to round those corners off but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it so what I might do is I'm just cutting the, the corners just makes it look a little bit better um, and we'll put some that's blue that's brown oh, I think I need to change that so I'm just going to get that Oh, I've got threads all over. That's the only thing when you sew and you get threads all over. My poor dog usually ends up getting them stuck to her. It's the same if I'm glittering for days. She seems to be... Yet she doesn't come into the craft room. She usually... Unless she wants some then. Um, she usually lays outside in the hallway. I'm just going to ink these. You can see where I've been burning the threads. 
I mean, it, it, it's a it's an old pillar case, um, so I think it's polyester. It's definitely not a cotton pillar case. And then what I'll do is I'll put the the elastics through it. So we'll put that back on there. So that's that. So it looks quite nice. I can put little bits and pieces in there. The inking around the edges hasn't done much and I'll get rid of the, the threads but now what we'll do is we'll put the elastic and I'm just going to get the elastic. Right so I've got some different elastics I'm not sure if this would be strong enough and I actually think that's a bit too it will go through but Right, so I'm going to try it with this. So we need to poke this through the holes. Now what I need is my little... These are quite sharp. Right, I need to go in this way actually. What a wally. That's it. Because I don't want too much elastic showing outside. So, in through there. got a hole in the middle that's for the elastic I might use a thicker elastic to go around to hold it um, to hold it together and we'll, it's easier to put the hole in from this way Sorry, I don't have a light on. Probably can't see. Um, sorry if it's a bit dim. Right, so what we need to do is we need to pull this elastic tight. We don't want it so it's pulling it, curling up, although it won't once it's got um, a book in it. But as you can see, you, know, you only get the elastic on those two bits. Sometimes if you have your elastic on the outside, it, it gets caught on things in your handbag outside and then it starts to snap. So I'm just tying a knot. And that's that. So I'll just try this one in it. I mean, I am going to make one on video and we are going to put a cover on it and everything that's me drawing a my granddaughter's little french bulldog so there we are so what i'm going to do now on the next i'm going to leave it at this and on the next video um we'll decide what papers uh, from the digicator i want to use some um coffee dyed papers and things and I want to cut out some ephemera uh, to, to be able to put in in the journal so thank you for joining me and if you would like to know more and um, like to see the rest of the video please subscribe and um, please give me a comment um, if you would like to see some then let me know what you're doing you know are you are you doing a, a travel journal this year 
I know with COVID there's not a, a lot of places we can go and there's not a lot of people um, travelling. Um, you know, it's uncertain times and it, it, it is awful, but uh, the only reason we're going out to Cyprus is because it is kind of in the middle of nowhere. We're, we've got a 20-minute walk and um, we do have a car. We can go shopping um, and we just stick to ourselves mainly. It's just sit in the sun, craft, walk, enjoy food and just read. Um, that might be boring to some people, but when you get to our age, <laughs> it's heaven. Okay, so thank you for, for listening to me waffling on. Um, and thank you for joining me while I'm making my, my travel journal. Okay, thank you. Bye.